welcome back to Wolverine Woman. We're here today with Jeff Tambellini, the current Michigan assistant coach. He was also an NHL player and played internationally. We also have Miss Riley Nelson, a Wolverine Woman producer and hockey extraordinaire. So we're going to start with a few questions. What game were you most excited for this week? Uh, I'm pretty excited for the Pittsburgh Philly uh, series. I think it's going to be any time that Battle of Pennsylvania gets going, I think it's uh, full of emotion. The last time they played, it was it was unbelievable in uh, 2012. So uh, hopefully a remake of that series. Do the Flyers have a chance? They have a chance just because it's so emotional and such a hostile environment between those two teams. Mm -hmm. But uh, whoever comes out of it is probably going to pay a, a hefty price. Yeah, it's a great rivalry to start off on. And I think in the same similarly in the East Con Eastern Conference, Bruins, uh, Maple Leafs will be a really good series to watch. B Toronto actually swept the Bruins in the regular season without Matthews in the lineup all three games because he was battling injury all season. In Toronto, it's had, they've had injuries in the past, but they're rested right now and they look like they're ready to go. Excuse me. Um, but the Bruins definitely have a stronger def defensive core than the Maple Leafs, especially with the top line of Zidane Chara and Charlie McAvoy. McAvoy's had an incredible season, and I think he's going to do a really good job of being able to stop the first line of Toronto, which has been their w biggest weapon so far this season. So I think that's going to be a really interesting matchup going forward. Now, are, they, are there any surprise teams that you think are going to make uh, a surprise run this season? I know you'd want to say New Jersey. Well, the <laughs> <laughs> yes, the Devils for me. But what honest do you think? To, honest <laughs> to God, you just, once you get in, uh, that's half the battle. And that's what every team says is just get in the playoffs and anything can happen. And there's a lot of years where a team will sneak in, uh, the top seeds rested, they're not really in, engaged in playoff mode, and before you know it, they're out. And it happened with the Edmonton Oilers a couple, of, probably about 15 years ago. And every so often you see a team, even the LA Kings did it the first year they won, uh, where you just slide in there, everybody's kind of firing on all cylinders, momentum behind them, and uh, they make an impact. So New, yeah. New Jersey Devils do have a chance. I think also to the Winnipeg Jets of a good chance of making a far run. Uh, Kyle Connor, Michigan alum, he's b had some incredible overtime games and overtime goals for the Jets, and I think that they have a lot of momentum going in with their fan base as well, going into the playoffs. And talking about being well-rested, there's, I mean, the players are used to playing two, three games a week. We're up to three, four. It's probably the highest intensity. Well, it is the highest intensity they're going to play all year. How do you can speak to that? How do they deal with that? Well, usually the first series, uh, it's all momentum, and there's so much emotion. Guys are so excited to play, and then the pace in the first two rounds is is really higher than than most you'll see all playoffs. And as it goes on, the intensity is up, but the pace, everybody gets so worn down just with the travel and the the contact that you take once you get through the first couple rounds. It's it's hard on the body, but uh, those first first four games are are wild, and there's uh, there's a lot of emotion and. Uh, those are those are fun games to watch and definitely great games to play. So actually, right now there are 11 of uh, Michigan alumni playing amongst seven teams, I believe, in the Stanley Cup playoffs. Which ones will you be watching, or do you think will make a big impact for their team? Well, I always think the guys in Pittsburgh, especially. I mean, Carl Hagelin's been there for a long time, found a way to win a couple of cups. Uh, a guy who's been in the playoffs probably more than anybody in the league in the last seven years, just mm -hmm. going with uh, the Rangers and now into Pittsburgh. Uh, I think the guys in Winnipeg are all uh, massive parts of that team. So there's a lot of guys in the league making a big impact, and it's uh, definitely good to see from uh, from a Michigan side of it. Yeah. One of the most inter interesting stories of the year would be the Vegas Vegas Knights. So how do you think? Uh, what do you think of them even making it to the playoffs in their first year? I don't think people. I mean, I know people are talking about it, but I don't know if anybody's given it enough uh, recognition for what they've done. I mean. I mean, people forget how bad some of the expansion teams were that, that came into the league in the last 20 years. I mean, it was uh, some tough nights in those buildings. But I think one thing that gets talked about a lot is what happened in Las Vegas at the start of the year. And it's hard to bring a, a new group of guys together. And I think when that happened, it immediately brought these guys together. They all had a bond that was, you know, something that you can't even you can't even speak of how, how tight these guys are. And uh, they've played like like brothers and one of the tightest teams that uh, that I've seen in a long time, so uh, good for them. I think the general manager, George McPhee, he did a fantastic job of picking players that he thought the chemistry would really work with them. I think their unit as a team has been really strong, and I think that they're, as you say, they're playing for each other, and they really actually have that chemistry, which is rare to sort of, when you put a bunch of guys on a team right away, you won't necessarily expect that, but I think this team, it's definitely, they found it yeah. pretty quickly. And they've had, um, I mean, I think in the beginning they had a five-year plan to go win the Stanley Cup and do you think maybe with their upcoming draft they're going to try to get more of an impact player 
uh, to speed that up? You never know. I mean, that's it's probably off the, the pace that they were looking to do. You know, you come in as a new team, uh, probably not thinking they're going to be where they are. And uh, I think they're going to have to just let it ride for the playoffs and, and see how it all shapes up. But uh, it, it's probably not exactly what they thought uh, when they built the team day one. All right, now, who's your pick? You first. <laughs> oh, it's a tough pick. I, I have a hard time going against Pittsburgh. Uh, they have probably one of the hardest routes to get there just to have the teams are going to have to go through. But uh, until somebody beats them, uh, I'm picking them. We've gone back and forth about this. I think I like the Lightning right now. I like their top line. I think they have a solid team all around. And Andrzej Vasilevsky, their goalie, he doesn't get talked about as much as he should, I believe. And I think Kucherov, when you have Stimkos, he's 28 now. He hasn't been producing as much for the team, but he's still he has the experience. He has he's the captain, and I think he can really lead the team to success in the postseason. I'm surprised we had no Predators. They're going to go under the radar. Yeah, I'd, I'd watch out for that yeah. team. They're uh, they're in a non-hockey market, but anyway, that's played there. It's uh, it's a hard place to play. That building is electric. Yeah. Well, thank you for coming and uh, chatting a little NHL playoffs with us. My pleasure.